According to a massive new report published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, living in a red state, a Republican controlled state here in the U.S., is hazardous to your health and, in fact, is a good indicator that you are going to die sooner than your blue state counterparts. Yes, the study has confirmed that for more than 30 years, people living in red states die earlier. They have a shorter life expectancy than people living in blue states. And yeah, it's actually a couple years difference between the two. And of course, the study is quick to point out many, many reasons why this happens. There's pollution. And part of the pollution issue is not just, you know, because of these right wing governors letting corporations do whatever the hell they want. We got plenty of that in blue states too, but it is a victim. You know, these people do become victims of their own environment, right? Because we have not made the switch to renewable energy over the last 30 years, people that live in areas with coal mines, with heavy fracking, you know, with oil exploitation, which of course, most of these do occur in red states that emits far more pollution affects the health of the people negatively. They die sooner. And again, that's just because they live in the area where these things exist and happen. So part of that is of course the government responsibility. The other part is just a victim of your circumstance, but other actual policies that contribute to the early death of people in red states are lax gun laws, homicide rates in red states are about 40% higher than blue states. Meaning if you're going to get shot, the chances are you're going to get shot in a red state. Your chances of being killed by a gun are 40% higher. If you live in a state controlled by a Republican governor, you're also more likely to die of COVID. Eight of the top 10 states with the highest COVID death rates are red states. So there's that nine of the top 10 states with the lowest vaccination rates happen to be red states. So of course, for the last two years, we have to factor COVID into all of this. So that's a big thing as well. As I mentioned, the pollution, the gun deaths, then of course, you just have general overall politicians who don't want to do anything about public health. Red states, the state uh, uh, report, excuse me, points out in the late nineties, were more reluctant to put indoor smoking bans in place than their blue state counterparts. Here in the state of Florida, we didn't have indoor smoking bans till about 2002, 2003. I was working in a restaurant at the time. It was very difficult for customers to understand. We don't have a smoking section anymore because it was finally banned. Whereas up in New York, they banned that in the mid nineties. There's also other factors. Poverty tends to be worse in red states. When you have increased poverty, that leads to negative health impacts. You also have lack of access to quality health care in these red states. The list goes on and on, folks. This report was exceptionally thorough, but the big takeaway from it is not just that this uh, discrepancy in life expectancies exists, but that it's getting worse. The gap is growing. So if you live in a red state, unfortunately, like me, well, make sure you tell your blue state friends how much you love them because apparently they're going to outlive you. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.